What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sold Out and on today's video you can see what we have in hand. It is the Kawaii 2. I think it's the new money colorway. So with that being said, let's hop right into today's video. So guys, as you already know, I've already tested this shoe. I've tested this shoe actually a few times, maybe seven to ten times I've been on the court with this sneaker and it actually kind of shocked me so let's hop right into it and work our way from the top down to the bottom as we always do so heel slip and comfort I had no issues whatsoever with heel slip and comfort or heel lockdown great lockdown in the heel area and the padding was thin back here but it was still very comfortable so it's not like it's it's minimal, but it does a job. It, I had no issues with it whatsoever. Heel slipping, comfort, heel lockdown was great. No complaints on that. Now down onto the tongue. The tongue was it was tongue was kind of weird. Um, super thin up at the top. As you guys can see right there. Very thin. And the padding on this though, it feels like this is stuffed with cotton. There's a sole line right here, and then from there on down is all padding. It feels really great on foot. And it didn't run hot at all. So the tongue, I really like the tongue on the Kawaii too. Now down on to the laces. Laces were just your kind of no your normal oval rope laces. Nothing too spectacular when it came down to laces. Just some normal laces that get the job done. Now with this being the first New Balance on the channel, I, I was really surprised. I haven't had any New Balances. Literally, this is the first New Balance that I ever owned. And I do not regret it as of now. I liked a lot about this sneaker, the tongue. The heel locked down. Now let's get into materials. Materials, I love the materials. Very, very breathable materials. And it's kind of hard to tell because there's so many layers. Like they did this colorway after the $100 bill. So they layered it up quite a bit. I don't know if every shoe from New Balance will come with a lot of layers like this one. But this one has a lot of layers and I actually like that. And it's still breathable at the same time. Now you can see the lace lockdowns in there. You can see that on both sides. There's a very fine screen mesh over the padding on the New Balance Kawaii 2. And it was very breathable. I had no heat issues whatsoever in this sneaker. I actually enjoyed the materials on this sneaker and it does not make me regret buying my first New Balance sneaker. I absolutely enjoyed playing in it. I love how they did the toe box right there. They added that synthetic overlay right there just in case you have any toe drags, anything like that. So I like that. There's a lot. You guys won't be able to see this on camera. Maybe on the B-roll you will see it. But there's tons of clear overlay. Might get a better look from right when it turns beige. They got a lot of clear overlays on the sneaker. And I think that's to help for added support maybe. Overall, I really enjoy the materials on the Kawaii too. Now, down onto stability and lockdown. Stability and lockdown, no issues whatsoever. Stability and lockdown felt absolutely amazing. Like I said, you can see the, the lace locks that run through here. And if you can't, you'll see them in the B-roll. I thought that was pretty dope. Like I said, there's tons of overlays on here helping with stability, side to side movement and stuff like that. Lockdown stability, I had no issues whatsoever on this sneaker. Now, down onto comfort. Comfort was actually pretty solid. On the front half of the sneaker, not so much because I think it was so caged. You could see all that caging around the front, the front toe box right here. But the fuel cell right here, from here on back, I had no issues with that. So heel impact protection was very good. It's a fuel cell material that they use and it is very soft. I wouldn't say like Kushlan soft, but it's pretty soft. It's almost comparable to Kushlan. Maybe, I mean, it's close to the basketball react, how hard some of the react has been on some of the recent basketball shoes. So comfort overall, I gotta give it to them on the comfort. The comfort didn't disappoint. It, it feels very responsive in the front of the shoe to me in the back half feels like it's it's built for heel impact so i think they did a good job on their way back to the front of the shoe just kind of giving us what we want we want to be able to launch quick but when we land we want a soft landing so they kind of did that out here on the Kawaii too down on to traction traction i had no issues with traction whatsoever and barring colorway i think this would be a dope outside sneaker i don't think you'll have issues with this outside um this plastic I'll play the B-roll. It is super thick. These grooves are very thick. I played on a semi-dusty court and, and I had no issues whatsoever. No slip outs. The thing stuck like glue. Um, now it wasn't as good as like the Curry 8s, Curry 9s, nothing like that, but it, it was close. It really was a nice sneaker in my house. It kind of slipped a little bit. My floors are kind of dusty. In the gym that I play in, I had no problems, no issues with the sneaker whatsoever. So if you guys are wondering about traction, think it might not be good. Go get yourself a pair of Kawhi 2s and you will not be disappointed. Now, if you're playing on super dusty court, 
a lot of shoes slip on super dusty courts. So, I mean, it's just kind of something you got ex- you have to accept if you're going to go play on a super dusty court. You're probably going to slide no matter what shoe you got on. Sometimes the Curry 9s even slide on some of the dusty floors that I've played on. Now, would I recommend this shoe to anybody? Yes, I'd recommend this shoe to, I- I'd say mostly like maybe a bigger guard. You know, kind of like Kawhi. You know, he gets rebounds. He-, he likes to take off and go. Stuff like that. If you have a game that's something like a stop and go get rebounds, run the floor. I think you'll enjoy this sneaker. Um, If you're a big, you could play in this sneaker too. I'm sure a lot of bigs in the league, maybe New Balance guys, will probably end up playing in this sneaker because it's a solid sneaker. Also the same with guards. The guard, This could be a guard shoe as well. Like I said, very responsive in the front, heel, impact protection in the back, and you're good to go. So like I said, I'd recommend this shoe to anybody. I was actually surprised. I really didn't have any any hope for this sneaker when I got it. I heard a lot of complaints about the Kawhi one, like being super thick and being like, just built like a tank, like heavy almost. And uh, I think they knocked it out the park. I have no issues. And I think the colorway, the aesthetic colorway on this, I think it's dope. The $100 bill they put with the blue tab on the back. I think they did a really good job mimicking the $100 bill. They got the declaration, all the, all that kind of stuff wrote on it. Got a Kawaii signature right here. And then there's a bunch of like, I don't know, signs, moon, stars, lunar, all that kind of stuff down here. I'm not really sure what that means. I also heard that this right here is something to do with Kawhi's like fingerprints or the way he held the shoe. You see the thumb lines up. Obviously my hands ain't big as Kawhi, but it probably depends on the shoe. He probably used a size 14 or a 16 when they made the initial model, initial 3D scan. So guys, this is my rundown of the Kawhi New Balance 2. If you like the shoe, go out and get it. I don't think you will be disappointed and we'll catch you on the next episode of Sold Out. Peace.